Hi, I'm Kristen Hawkins, President of Students for Life of America. You know, when COVID-19 struck and campuses started shutting down, Students for Life had to change gears and fast. We had to transform from our on-the-ground, on-campus activism organization to experts in digital outreach. And I'm excited to say we've accomplished that goal. Students for Life has been training students on pro-life topics for over a decade. In fact, just before the quarantine hit, we trained our 100,000th student. But when our on-campus outreach came to a grinding halt, we had to make sure to stay creative as the pro-life generation could not cease in our mission as we knew those who advocate for the violence of abortion wouldn't. So that's why we launched our online virtual training series over the course of five weeks. We trained 2,200 students. In fact, 120 students felt so inspired they wanted to start a new Students for Life group at their school. Some of the other efforts we've launched since March have been the launch of our Why video series which featured guests like Liz Wheeler, Alveda King, Trent Horn, Michael Knowles, and other that answer the toughest questions pro-choicers throw at pro-lifers. We also had a training series specifically geared for our med and law students. And now we're doing a training series specifically for those who wanna start a brand new Students for Life group. We also hosted five Facebook training sessions that were live. We had a student pro-life guest and over 117,000 viewers. We had a webcast for all those that attended the first ever National Pro-Life Summit in Washington, D.C. back in January. And now we have this History Maker Virtual Toolkit, which is the first resource of its kind in the pro-life movement, and includes video trainings from all sessions presented by leaders and experts at the Pro-Life Summit back in January. Already hundreds have started learning from these lessons. Students for Life is always ready and quick to act whenever a pro-life response is needed, and COVID-19 has not slowed us down. We mobilized over 7,000 pro-life activists across the country to call their governors during this time and ask that abortion be rightfully considered non-essential during coronavirus. And our sister organization, Students for Life Action, also held a national calling day urging voters to remember to vote pro-life first in this upcoming election. That's about 60,000 calls down and only 940,000 calls to go before we reach our goal of 1 million calls before this election is over. And so on a lighter note, we have been able to help support pregnancy resource centers across the country. They have been flooded with donations thanks to our national online baby item drive. And then inspired by this new stay at home chalk art trend, we launched our first ever neighborhood sidewalk chalk day and the results were inspirational. Immediately after beginning our quarantine efforts, we more than doubled our online effort to reach people in the middle on abortion, have conversations with them, and change their mind. This whole school year, that's amounted to almost 120,000 conversations with a 31% mind changed rate. In April, we launched the first of its kind chat website, Ask a Pro-Lifer. This is a confidential place for anyone to ask any question they have about abortion and receive an educated and compassionate response from one of our staff members. In one day, responses to an Ask a Pro-Lifer Instagram story maxed out Instagram's limits. Led by Rocky Mountain Regional Coordinator, a group of 18 students got on Zoom to have 70 conversations about abortion with abortion supporters. We call this coffee and conversation. And these events happened 15 times since then nationwide, and we've been able to have 560 conversations and 48 minds changed. Students for Life was also excited to host the first ever online screening of Unplanned, the conversion story of Abby Johnson from Planned Parenthood director to pro-life advocate. We turned out 5,000 viewers to watch the movie with us. You see, no matter what challenges come our way, Students for Life and the pro-life generation will never lose sight of our mission of abolishing abortion. Nothing will deter us. Nothing will slow our momentum down. No matter what, we'll find a way to make our vision of a nation without abortion a reality.